and then limit limit and then one because we want to limit the number of movies that we want to delete to only one this is very very important whenever you are using the delete query you always need to limit to one otherwise you are putting putting your database or table uh, uh, in danger because it something might go wrong and every, everything could be deleted so always use limit because we only limit we only wa we only want to to delete only one single movie so always 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 use limit limit to one and then we need to execute that we need to say here execute but before I execute we need to provide the ID here so I'm gonna say I'm gonna store this in a, a statement first in order to uh, statement in order to provide the uh, the ID so I'm gonna say statement and then statement and then I'm gonna say the I'm gonna call the bind param and I'm gonna append the first I because it's it's integer and then I'm gonna pass the ID the movie ID finally we need to use if statement and then execute our uh, our statement statement and then execute and then in case of success success and in case of failure else failure failure so in case of success all we need to do is that we need to use or the response array response array and then error and then the error is gonna be false there is no error here and then we can here also add a message response and then message and then here we can say uh, movie deleted successfully and then in case of failure we can copy this part and then say error true error true and then here error true true and then uh, the message is going to be failed failed to remove movie And finally, here in case um, in case we don't have the movie uh, ID, we need to say uh, error true, and then the message is gonna say, please provide the movie ID, the movie ID, and finally we use the echo, and then JSON, JSON json encode and then we pass the response to display the message that will be returned to the user so this is all we need to do in order to delete a movie and what remains is just testing this script